What is up guys, it's Bemi, and today I want to be showing you how to make a custom rain meter skin in 2020. Now, I have made a video before, three years ago or so, and I didn't show you how to add an image, and I'm going to add that into this video, so let's get right into it. Alright, so first we're going to download rain meter. I'm going to put the link in the description below, or you can look it up. And I downloaded the beta. It's the current version, so I mean either one doesn't matter. So after you download that, I'm sure you know how to do that. I'm going to go into files and quick access I'm gonna search rain meter. Alright, so here it is, rain meter. Now there's a folder of skins and I'm going to make a new one. So this is going to be called 2020. Simple. Alright, so you're going to go into here and we're going to be adding a text document. We're going to name it Reminder. For this example, I'm going to set a rem reminder on my desktop saying that I need to post on YouTube. So then we're going to need to change it to INI because that's the type file that RainMeter uses. Enter. You're going to select yes. Now, if you can't see the type file, what you're going to do is go into View, check File Name Extensions, and then you should be able to see it. All right. Now, I'm also going to add another folder, and this will be for the image. So I'm going to put a YouTube image below my text. So I'm going to name, or you should name it at Resources. Enter. Now we're going to add the image into this folder. So we're going to go into Google. It's literally any image will work, you know, it depends on what you want to say and what you want to do. So we're to save. And I'm going to name it YouTube logo. Remember what you name it because you will need to type it in later in the notepad. YouTube logo. All right. And this should be in resources. Here we go. At resources, press that. And I'm going to save. Okay. So now after you save, we're going to open Notepad. Because this is where g we're going to code and type in our skin. We're going to open. I want you to press all files and search up reminder or whatever you named it mine is reminder i and i so or you can is in your recent file so here it is all right so first what we're going to do is name the thing rain meter so rain meter next is update equals 1000 now this means it will update or refresh every second and I'm not going to go in depth into explaining what each of these words mean, but I will add a link in the description to explain to you um, what each of these things, and you can look at it for yourself. But for tutorial purposes, we're just going to do simple, straightforward stuff. All right, so we're going to go into we're gonna enter twice and then put my meter. Next is meter equals string. Text equals. Now this can be anything you want, whatever you want it to say. Just write that. I'm going to put reminder to post on YouTube. All right. Oh, spelled it wrong there. Next is going to be an anti-alias. Now this is just to smooth out the words. So, there we go. And font color. This is the pun fun part. It literally can be any color you want it. Um, to see what color or what co number to put in, you can just search uh, RGB color. 
or I can put a link in the description you just press on that now say I wanted to do red okay you see the numbers it gives us two five five zero zero so what we're gonna do is go into rain meter two five five comma zero zero now this should give us our color so enter next is font face this is just whatever font you want it to be really doesn't matter you can mess around with this and uh, pick whatever you like it's your preference I'm going to do Times New Roman just for this purpose. Alright, next is font size. How big you want it. I'm going to keep it at 30. So, there you go. Next. Now, this is new. I'm going to add an image now. So, we'll have to put meter image. The first part was just the reminder, the words that you wanted to put. This is the image part, so meter equals image, image name equals hashtag at hashtag. And now, remember before I told you to remember what you put your photo as, and mine was YouTube logo dot PNG. Er, there you go. Now this will allow it to access that photo. And we're going to put the width as 30. And the height equals 25. Now this doesn't matter. It, can, it just depends on what you want, what size you want it to be. Next we're going to do x equals 200, y equals 50. Now this is the position of where you want to put it. For instance, your wording will be right here. This image will tell you, or the X and the Y will tell you where that image will be depending on your text. So 200 will be further to the right and 50 will be a little bit down. So it'd be like right under the text. And you can mess around with this and see what you want, but I'm just gonna do that for now. And we're going to oops, save, yes and close here now I don't know if you see this but you see this little um, thing right there press it and it should be a raindrop I think my camera is covering it but it should be a raindrop since you downloaded rain meter press on that and there's the 2020 you can refresh all if you don't see it and now you press on this reminder dot I and I and you're gonna load it now when you load it, you can see it right here. And then you can close. And if you want it to be transparent, you can do that as well. And you can move it around depending on where you want to put it. doesn't matter. But yeah, that's the simple tutorial of how to make a custom Rainmaker skin. If you like this video, please leave a like and sub to my channel. It will really help me and let me know that you want to see more. Thanks, guys.